it is finally here today guys this is it it is finally here The wait is over. The wait is finally over. The beast is here. What is up, you guys? I hope you're having a wonderful day. We are here at Mobot Vega Plaza, and this is the video that most of you have been waiting for. The beast, I've teased the beast for a long time now, and finally, finally, it is here. Right here, we have the brand new e bike, the first ever e bike with fat tires. This is a game changer guys and let me share with you why fat tires later on in the video this is the Oka e-bike we have six different colors first we have the grey or silver it's uh it's more greyish than silver but i'm telling you you will love this color second we got the black with orange decal we got the red with black decal lime green with orange decal blue with orange decal and my personal favorite, the gold with the black decal. Do you call it decal or decal? Hi, Chu! <laughs> Chu is famous now. <laughs> He's been through a lot of YouTube videos, not only mine, but others as well. Finally, Chu, finally the beast is here. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so what's great about this Oka, which I say is a game changer, it is the first ever fat bike e bicycle in Singapore. Fat, fat bike. No, fat tires, not fat bike. It is also one of the first few 48 volt e bicycles in Singapore. If you don't know what 48 volt means, it means that it gives you more power when you're climbing up hills. Very, very useful. Fat tire, important stability. I have personally tested the all car myself, and I can tell you this having fat tire is a lot better than having suspension. Reason being, Suspension absorb bumps, but you will still feel the bump. Fat tire, it, it just ignores bumps. That's what it is. On top of having a very powerful 48 volt system, it has 240 watt model, geared model. If you guys don't know the difference between a geared motor and brushless motor, uh, I actually explained it. Basically, gear motor would allow you to climb uphill a lot more easier than brushless motor. Brushless motor actually uses more power than geared motor. We also have a 14 AH battery capacity. Look at this. Look at this huge ass battery over here. <laughs> this is a 14 AH Samsung cells. And Chu is gonna help me demonstrate that this battery is detachable so you can get another spare battery. <laughs> yep, detachable batteries. Get another one and that's 28 AH. <laughs> You get another one, that's 42 AH, right? Three batteries, 42 AH, right? <laughs> we are bad at maths! <laughs> no, that's 32 AH. No, 42. 42! Come on, you. <laughs> well, you guys get the idea. The more battery, the more AH. Every time multiply by 14, because they only come in 14 AH. We got front and back disc brakes as well. You got back racks, you got back lights. I'll show you the good thing about the back lights later. You got front lights as well. And of course, LED panel. Display. Your display panel, thank you, Chu. <laughs> Built-in front light, wow, that's quite bright. There's like four LED lights in there. And the real light, this is what's cool guys. This is the backlight. But what Chu is gonna do, he's gonna give me the right signal. See, it blinks right. Give me left. <laughs> it is one of the safety features that you should have while riding on the road. And you guys, riding e-bike on the road, please be careful, but having signal lights, it is definitely useful. So that the cars see you. But I would still advise you to have more lights. You can never have enough lights. The more lights, the better. The more lights, the car sees you. Here is your LED panel, and we have three different speed modes. Uh, pedal assist, how much power you need. It assists you. We got the speedometer here, and of course, the distance, how far you travel. And of course, you got trips, you got 
Voltage, wow, they actually show you the voltage. You got the, what is current? Is it the amount of current you? Yes. Ah, they show you the amount of current as well. And then we got, what is T1? Oh, time! <laughs> you guys, I also need to tell you that this, this all car is a foldable e-bike. So just lift it up and ha, it falls. <laughs> Oh, this is my first time doing this and I'm an expert already. And handlebar goes down. Look at how small it falls. This e-bike is such a beast. We're gonna take it out and compare and show you guys how good it is. See guys, Chu is gonna demonstrate <laughs> how to fold this and put it in your car. He's more expert than I am. <laughs> and just like that, it's that easy. Wow, awesome. And we still got lots of space. And here is his competitor, the Nexus. This has back suspension, guys. Road trip. Do you have faith in the Okra, Chiu? Technically, yes. You think it's like the best e-bike in Singapore? Uh, all the e-bikes that Mohawk sell is the best. <laughs> this guy. But we have been waiting for Okra for like uh, at least four months now. Four uh, months. And of course due to Covid and all. Um, but now the stock is here. Chiu, you got stock, right? Yes. All awesome. the stocks are. So guys, if you want an Okra, links in the description below. You better get it before it's sold out. I got a feeling it's gonna get sold out real fast. And since I don't have a model today, Chu is gonna be my model. <laughs> I will film and he will ride. <laughs> yeah, I can't afford an expensive model. He's, he's cheap. <laughs> no, I cannot say Chu is cheap because you know why? He is a superstar now. He has appeared in many, many YouTubers videos. <laughs> He's famous now guys, he's famous, he's a big deal. So we are gonna go around Singapore, well not around Singapore, but some place in Singapore where there's a little slope that we could actually test the power of the e-bikes. And I want to show you the difference between a 48 volt and a 36 volt. It's a big difference. Chiu, I asked for a slope. This is a hill. This is Bukit Batok Hill. <laughs> You're really challenging this e-bike. <laughs> Guys, I'm not even kidding guys. This is a very steep uphill climb. It's a hot, hot day today in Singapore. And Chu, Chu had to choose this. He had to go all the way down and ride up. And I want to add that a good thing is that now the technology for e-bikes is a lot easier. In the past, if I were to use the Mini 16 on this, I had to do two cycle before the motor kicks in. Nowadays, it's different. Nowadays, the motors are a lot better than in the past even for the Nexus. So I think I should be able to do it. However, Chu is gonna ride the Okra while I'll take the Nexus. And I will probably be slightly slower. For those of you who are riding an e-bike, you make sure you wear a helmet. Even though how stupid it looks, you should always wear a helmet. It's safety reason and you're obeying the law. Do not ride without a helmet. The helmet is always important. Even Chu. See? He is also, wow! And you have glass. Why is your helmet a lot cooler than mine? Why do you have shades? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's shades on shades. That's two shades. I'm on the Nexus and good thing is that's five. <laughs> Better as is five. But of course, you don't need five for the 48 volt. All right, uphill now, guys. And I'm pedaling with the Nexus. It's really slow, but... Uh, Chu, how are you doing? Wow, so relaxed. Hey, he's going a lot faster than I am. <laughs> no, come on, Nexus, keep up. <laughs> This is so not fair, man. So this is the power of 36 volt versus a 48 volt, guys. And as you can see, the 48 volt just takes this hill effortless. I still need to put some weight on the Nexus. Oh my God, this isn't that easy. So I just did the Nexus and coming up here, I have to put a little pressure. Otherwise, it won't go up. <laughs> so now, now I will try the beast. Oh my God. My legs are cramped already. 
Okay, now it's time for me to enjoy. <laughs> ah, riding the beast now. <laughs> Woo! Look at the talk, guys. Look at the talk. Wow. Okay, going downhill. <laughs> All right, uphill time. Chill, I'll give you a head start because I'll catch up with you. <laughs> yeah, you go ahead. All right, let's chase Chu up. Oh, okay. I'll let you know when I overtake him. Hey, this is so much easier. So I know I'm catching up Chu, but it's uh, I'm taking a little while because I'm heavier than Chu. Hi, Chu. Bye, Chu. <laughs> and the good thing is. My legs are not that tired. Chew! <laughs> are you tired yet? Okay. <laughs> I think the whole car is tired. You feel the difference, don't you? Uh, because the 48 boat has a higher thock. Yes. So, especially when you stop halfway uh, during upslope, mm -hmm. you will notice that uh, with the 48 boat, just one pedal, or even less than one pedal, it will be able to actually push you all the way to make the right speed. The important thing is one pedal. <laughs> Not multiple pedal and then go. Today's test is a little extreme because we are at Bukit Batok Hill. I just want to put it that way. I'm sweating because it's the hill. I asked for slope too, not hill. But we did the extreme test and it works. Not every day you will see such a terrain like this going a steep uphill climb. No. On an everyday, day-to-day -day commute, the okra would definitely suit all your daily needs. But <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> I remember coming to Bukit Batok Hill and I used Freddy, the e-scooter. Back then, e-scooter was not uh, banned yet, but I remember coming here and Freddy had problem climbing. The Oka, however, it's powerful. 48 volt, it is definitely powerful. I should take out the helmet, we are not riding anymore. <sighs> Remember, if you want to get an Okra, links in the description below. Right, you? <laughs> so anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and I will see you in the next one. You guys keep smiling. See ya! No, Chu, louder, <laughs> come on! See ya! No, higher pitch! See ya! Yes! Chu, yes. can I get a beast? Uh, yeah, just choose the color. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes! So you guys, I just heard that there is only 200 sets left. If you wait any longer, you gotta wait for the shipment. And you know how long it takes because of COVID and all the problems with shipping. So if you really want to get an okra, make sure you get it as soon as possible. I'm not kidding. This is like the best e-bike ever, ever. Look guys, I don't even need to sell this e-bike. It will sell itself. So I'm telling you, go click on the link go check it out or go down to the showroom just check it out because i am 100 percent sure that this is the best e-bike in singapore right now as of today nothing beats it not even kidding man i don't have to sell you this right you <laughs> oh you want me to sell no <laughs> don't listen to him guys don't listen to him i'm not selling i'm recommending go check it out yourself